Hello everybody and welcome back to the History of Goju Ryu series. I'm the Goju Ryu philosopher and today we'll be covering one of the most influential students of Miyagi Chojun Sensei, Higa Seiko. Higa Sensei holds a special place in Goju Ryu since he wasn't only a student of Miyagi Chojun, but also of Miyagi's teacher, Higa Onakanryo Sensei. Let's get started. Higa Seiko was born in 1898, about 10 years after Miyagi Chojun's birth, and took up the study of Nahate with Higa Onakanryo at the age of 13 or 14. Choda Juhatsu and Miyagi Chojun were his senior students at the time, and Higa was allowed to join the training in part due to his father's friendship with Higa Ona Sensei, according to the sources I'm able to find. It also seems to be the case that Higa was a relative of the Shurite pioneer Itosu Anko, strengthening this connection to the roots of karate. Higa Seiko was only able to study with Higa Ona Sensei for three or four years before Higa Ona passed away, and after his teacher passed away, he began training under his senior student, Miyagi Chojun Sensei. Higa Seiko is the source of much of the surviving information about Ryu Yu Ko, Higa Ona's teacher in Fujian, China. This is likely because of his family's connection to Higa Ona, as well as his attentiveness to his teacher's stories. It's from his recollections that we understand that Ryu Yu Ko was a much older man than Higa Ona, which indicates that he was likely not Jie Zhongsheng, as many have claimed. Higa Sensei was also a dedicated student of Miyagi's, devoting himself to training with his former dojo mate. Through much of the time that he studied with Miyagi Sensei, Higa Seiko was a police officer serving on the force for many years. Eventually, however, in 1931, Higa Sensei would retire from the police force and begin to teach karate in a dojo he opened inside his own house. This made Higa Seiko one of three of Miyagi's students explicitly permitted to open a dojo during Miyagi's lifetime, along with Shinzato Jinan and Kamiya Jinsei. However, the former passed away before Miyagi during the Second World War, and the latter is sadly better remembered for being a physician despite being a talented karateka and kobudo practitioner. This left Higa Seiko as the most notable of Miyagi's students to have opened his own dojo. Higa Seiko traveled to the island of Saipan to teach karate in 1935, but returned to Okinawa soon after. During this trip, he met and trained with Izumikawa Kanki, who would stay his student and help popularize Goju Ryu in Japan. However, like his teacher, Higa would go through many hardships during the Second World War. During the period of poverty that resulted from the war, Higa Sensei's wife passed away, and he became destitute, eventually moving in with Toguchi Seikichi, who was a student of both him and Miyagi at the time. Even during this time, Higa Sensei continued to study and teach Goju Ryu. This even included conducting his own research and expanding the style. Higa Seiko was a student of Miyagi Chojun until the latter's death in 1953. Higa's dojo would become known as the Shodokan, but outside of the dojo, he was also incredibly active in the organizations that would organize, promote, and preserve karate from then on out. He was an active member of the Okinawa Karate Do Renmei, Okinawa Kobudo Kyokai, and Zen Nihon Karate Do Renmei, among many other organizations. These organizations were largely responsible for spreading and promoting all styles of karate across Okinawa and Japan, and were useful in establishing unified grading systems for awarding ranks above 5th Dan. He also helped to build and teach a dojo in Itoman, where several of Higa Sensei's surviving relatives still live. Higa Seiko continued to study, practice, and teach until his death in 1966. He had several notable students and was a second teacher to many of Miyagi Sensei's students as well, including Toguchi Seikichi. Another of his students, Matayoshi Shinpo, was the son of Matayoshi Shinko, one of the pioneers of the Okinawan weapon arts of Kobudo, and as a result, the Shotokan still teaches Kobudo along with Goju Ryu. Through his organization and the many students he produced, Higa Seiko's influence still reaches almost all of Goju Ryu that is practiced today. Thank you for watching this video through to the end, and if you haven't already, I recommend going back to watch the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, and while you're down there, leave me a comment letting me know if there's any other Goju Ryu master you'd like me to cover. If you'd like to see the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series when they come out, especially if I haven't already covered the founder of your lineage, Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload. At time of writing the script, I've been keeping to a Saturday at noon Eastern upload schedule for a few weeks, but it's very likely that I will have that schedule thrown off either by work or by school sometime in the near future. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and adopt a beginner's mind.